Good evening, everyone. The first half of this case was hot. I'm hoping the second half of the case will be just as hot. 17-18, absolute basketball seems to be a hit so far. Break two has filled very quickly after we did the first break, and I'm sure we'll do more of these tonight as well. There's everyone involved. All teams are in, so 30 spots were sold. Let's randomize each list three times. One, two, and three. That's easy. Ashley down to Baker. And two and a one, one and a two, three times one, two, and three. OKC down to the Memphis Grizzlies. So Ashley with the Oklahoma City Thunder. TJ, you have the Miami Heat. Joe Fagundes with the Magic. Matt, you've got the Pistons. William with the Pacers. Manuel with the Cavs. Angelo with the Suns. Michael G with the Warriors. Adam K with the Timberwolves. Angelo with the... Pelicans, William with the Celtics, Lee with the Mavs, Jeremy with the Wizards, Rick with the Kings, Alfonso with the Sixers, Matt, you've got the Raptors, Stianos, you have the Rockets, Chris Wilson, Last Pod Mojo, Hornets, Ryan with the Hawks, Angelo with the Bulls, Matt with the Knicks and the Nuggets, Adam with the Spurs, Jeremy 33, Clippers and Trailblazers, Ashley, you have my Lakers, TJ with the Jazz, and Nets for Jeff, Lee with the Bucks, Grizzly for William Baker, and Heat are up for trade, Hawks up for trade, maybe a Heat Hawks trade. Otherwise, we'll just go. And obviously, here's the second half of the case right there. Oh, you got the net, Nets again, Jeff? Well, listen, second time might be the charm. Pelicans, perhaps? Maybe Heat Pelicans? Hawks Pelicans? Just throwing offers out there, just trying to help you guys out. Uh, once again, another, uh, another half case from a fresh case break has been posted of Absolute Basketball on the website. So check it out, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Clippers for Nets, perhaps? Otherwise, we, we may just have to go. Or Jazz for Nets. This is a great great set too. They really tightened up the product. Only three cards per pack now. Uh, he meant heat for Nets. So we have Clippers for Nets and Heats for Heat for Nets. So Jeff, you can say yay to one of those or nay to both. Let me know. Uh, and then we'll go with the break. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So he wants Clippers. So Jeremy, are you, I just want to confirm again. Jeremy, are you good with that? confirm it. I think Jeremy wants that. Clippers Nets confirmed. I think, right Jeremy? Confirm, he says. Great. So I can print this out. Let's do this. I know, for a second I thought TJ was, was, was like, TJ's not trading the Jazz. Like, TJ knows his hoops. He knows not to trade the Jazz. Yeah, double check your, uh, double check your, your, um, uh, checklist, folks. And the, and the draft, basically. All right, here we go. There you go. So Jeremy now has the Nets. And Clippers now for Jeff. So we'll, we'll see how... We'll see how those trades work out. That was a trade. I just like to keep track of it, see who, who the winners and losers are for the trades. All right, good luck everybody. The Damian Lillard glass was pulled already, just FYI. 
That was for the first half. And there's an encased card in each mini box as well, which is cool. Nice touch. Try to do my best to keep the autos on the bottom just to give it that extra bit of suspense and drama. Everyone likes that. All right, here we go. First one is Rookie Materials, Frank Mason the third, 151 out of 199. Kings, that's for Rick. I said think Rick is like three for three on breaks today. At least with a little something. There you go. And we've got Tools of the Trade, Jonathan Isaac. 11 out of 25. Nice low number. 11 out of 25. Got nice uh, jersey relics in there. Pieces of the basketball. Nice autograph. Tools of the Trade. Orlando Magic. That goes to Joe Fagundis. Kyle Korver, 58 out of 199, established threads for the Cavs. That'll be for Manuel with that relic. And Celtics, Tom Heisen, 23 out of 49. Nice, old school Celtic going out to William Baker. Nice one, William. All right. The first in case card is Dwight Howard for the Hornets. Chris Wilson, last spot mojo. Dwight Howard's been having a pretty decent season this year. And the next one is TJ Leaf in case for the Pacers. It's got the absolute sticker right here too. TJ Leaf for the Pacers. That'll be for William Baker. Tim H. wondering, oh, is he the Celtics announcer too? I had no idea, Joe Fagundis. There you go. Um, the Tim H. is asking what the uh, encased cards will go for. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, we should. I think this is kind of a new, kind of a new look for content or for uh, absolute this year. So I'm not sure how they'll react on a secondary market. Uh, I would probably say that the top rookies will probably do will probably resell much better than uh, the vet players. I mean, they're not autographed or uh, they're not autographed or serial numbered. At least not the ones we've pulled so far. So it's not going to be like a million dollars or anything like that. But like, if you pulled a, well, let's put it this way. Um, what are what are like Markel Fultz silver prisms going for on uh, uh, in prison basketball? Right, that's a refractor that goes for 150 bucks, 200 bucks. But his regular rookie cards that are non refractors will go for like maybe I don't know five, ten, fifteen dollars. So I would imagine so one a top rookie encased ten bucks, ten, fifteen bucks, something like that. That's my guess. John Stockton, 13 out of 49, established threads. Jazz for TJ. With the high shorts and everything. And the autograph is another Orlando Magic. That's Grant Hill. 12 out of 25, Grant Hill. Nice. Where are you going to live, Grant Hill, in this top loader right here? I have a, do I have a slightly larger size? Oh, this size will work for now. 12 out of 25. Nice, Grant Hill. Orlando Magic. That's another one for Joe Fagundis. There you go, Joe. Trailblazer, 51 out of 99. Damian Lillard. We saw his glass redemption in the first half of the case. That's the case hit. 
Oh, it, nice. Joe's like his favorite basketball player of all time. Now he's yours. Magic edition. Next one is another Iwundu for Joe Fagundis and the Magic. 7 out of 75, another Magic for Joe. Here you go, Joe. Tools of the trade. Six-piece relic and autograph. Nice. Your encased cards. First one is Jeremy Lin for the Brooklyn Nets. And the next one is Lori Markinen. Nice. It's a strong rookie right there. Angelo with the Bulls. And the Nets, Jeremy 33 getting that Jeremy Lin, drawing first blood, first scratch maybe in the trade. I want, to, I want to try to hide the, the autographs. Oh, these are first basketball break ever? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I, I don't think I usually see I don't think I usually go, hey, Joe Fagun is usually not in basketball breaks. Okay, so Rob Shell saying that marketing sold for $69. So there you go. $69. I think that, that'll give you give everyone a good idea of how the, the sort of higher end rookies do. All right, more magic for Joe. 19 out of 199 pregame materials. Pregame materials. Nice Aaron Gordon. See, this, this is what getting bored gets you into, Joe Fagundis. Orlando Magic hits. There's Jordan Bell, 90 out of 99. Quad relic and autograph for the Warriors. That'll be for Michael G. There you go, Michael. Yeah, we do have Prism Basketball on the site, too. Would love to do some of that as well, jazpiecehobbyland.com. Ojale, 92 out of 199, rookie materials. I think he's he's injured, right? That goes to the Celtics, William Baker with the Celts. And we have TJ Leaf, 64 out of 99. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? TJ Leaf, piece of the basketball and the autograph. Pacers, William Baker with the Pacers. Nice one, Baker. Former UCLA guy. For the Clippers, Blake Griffin. So I think the trade kind of evens out, right? Blake Griffin, both of you guys got something. Both an encased card of a veteran. Jeff Golenthal with the clip show. And then we've got nice Luke Kennard for the Pistons. Matt Prozer with that. Been, has Kennard been playing decently? Joe Fagunis. Joe Fagunis is a Pistons guy. I feel like the, all the rookies in the draft class have been making, if they have been healthy, have been making some kind of making some kind of uh, progress or impact on the game. John Ortiz, LeBron to the Lakers. I don't think LeBron wants to come to the Lakers, even if we asked nicely and paid him a lot. Does he want to come to a rebuilding team at the sunset of his career? Does he want that? I don't think so. It'd be nice. I wouldn't complain about it, but... Oh, I see. Joe Fagun is not, not on top of that Luke Kennard news at the moment. All the rookies, I have to admit, have, have been making some kind of impact. It's been pretty nice for the hobby, pretty nice for the basketball season. DeAndre Jordan, 51 out of 199. So now, Jeff Goldthal with the Clippers now officially draws first blood in the trade with this hit. Does DeAndre Jordan get traded by the trading deadline? February, early February. Another Jonathan Isaac. 59 out of 75. Another Orlando Magic for Joe Fagundes, who, who just decided to do basketball on a lark. He's like, I just, I'm bored. I want to try this. Well, there you go.
For the Miami Heat, Goran Dragic established threads. 42 out of 99. That goes to TJ and the Heat. There you go, TJ. A little something for you. And back here. Bam! There you go, TJ. Triple relic and autograph. 11 out of 149. Jersey, basketball, and jersey. Bam! Out of bio. There you go, Teach. Nice tools of the trade. Um, Nino was asking earlier if those tools of the trade cards are worth grading. Yeah. I mean, you could grade anything if you wanted to. The, but the trouble with any thicker cardstock card, just in any product, is those edge grades are sometimes a little difficult to get a nice thing on. So it's just something to be aware of. All right, first in case card is the Ageless Vinsanity for the Sacramento Kings. Rick with that encased. And then we've got more magic. Jonathan Isaac for Joe. There you go, Joe. All right, final box. My dream player for the Lakers, dead or alive. Wow. Uh, huh. <laughs> I mean, it's a good question, I guess. Uh, Prime Shaquille O'Neal. Prime Shaquille O'Neal. I think he would just. I think he would just dominate. Yeah, Angelo's with me. I think he would just dominate the small, um, the small lineup sort of thing that is happening in the NBA. Smaller squad, smaller lineups. And Sha Shaq doesn't even doesn't even have to be a big guy that can shoot a three, right? Doesn't have to. Just because his presence. I mean, he could be pretty much in any era. I think Shaquille O'Neal would succeed. That's the kind of talent he is. For the Wizards, 118 out of 199. Kelly Aubrey Jr. That's for Jeremy 33. <laughs> Kyle Kramer saying that my my dream team would be Lonzo, Jello, and Mello on the same team. Uh, I don't know if I'd want the Ball family. Only one of them is good. <laughs> it's Lonzo. All right. So, uh, and we've got Determination autograph. Carl Anthony Towns. A wild cat appears. That goes to Adam Kupperman and the Timberwolves. Nice. Piece of the basketball. Terrence Ferguson, Thunder, out of 199. 108 out of 199. Terrence Ferguson going to Ashley and OKC. A nice Carl Anthony Towns. Was that a wait? What's a one of? Which one's a one of one? Oh my God! There's the number. It's a two out of five. Carl Anthony Towns. Wow! I didn't even notice that number. It was hidden. Adam Kupperman, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop! And back here, determination for the Mavs. Yogi Ferrell, seventy nine out of ninety nine. It's on the left side there. Trixie. Lee with the Mavs. Nice Yogi Ferrell. All right, and the last in case cards. Good eye, Angelo. Thank you. Is D'Angelo Russell, Nets edition. That goes to Jeremy 33. And the last encased card of this break is Anuobi. Nice rookie encased for the Raptors. That'll be for Matt Prozer. And there you have it, folks. That was another half case break of Absolute in the books. This stuff looks really nice, ladies and gentlemen. So go and check it out. There's more on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.